Hey guys, uh, Mason Waters here with Waters Media. Uh, just kind of making this video here as a little bit of something both personal and tied somewhat to the channel. Um, and it has to do with social medias and accounts in general. Uh, so recently my Google account uh, did get hacked and because of this, uh, some people gained access to my social medias as well as some bank stuff. Um, the things that took the biggest hit with the social media side of it was Facebook and Instagram. Um, now, it was a little bit conflicting uh, because one day I just kind of woke up and I got a notification that something about Google, like, hey, did you try and sign into this account uh, from an unknown location? And then like shortly after that, I received something from Facebook being like, hey, there might be a security breach. And then for some reason, only like moments after, literally got a second thing stating, oh, well, due to suspicious activity or violating terms and services, we've like blocked your account. Uh, and it, which was weird because I literally got that, like, let's say it was 10 a.m. And then like 10.01 got a second email already going to the, yeah, well, your account's disabled. Um, which they like gave me a chance to like appeal that. Um, but didn't even give me like a reason as to why like specifically that even happened. So my only speculation was really, oh, um, you know, my Google was hacked and then suddenly I'm having all my social medias go down as well as, uh, and then Twitter also took a hit as well. I'll get into that a little bit here in a second, but basically with the Facebook one, uh, that was definitely the heaviest, um, cause that's my personal account, uh, that I have all my friends, family and whatnot on. And it was really like, okay, well, the, like they didn't even give me a reason as to why it just kind of happened. And, uh, so I tried to, you know, submit the appeal, but in that it's like, oh, well, you know, after we review this, if we figure out this, you know, you still violated like some form of terms and services, uh, then it will be permanently deleted. Um, and so that was very confusing and I ended up waiting like 60 days uh, no feedback, nothing back. There's like no customer service line to like get a hold of anyone. And the next thing I know, like I didn't even get an email about that. I literally just tried to log in one day and it said, well, your account has now permanently uh, been deleted. Like it doesn't exist. You can't search it. You can't sign in. Like it's like the email isn't associated with an account. Um, so again, that's very confusing and, and a little bit heartbreaking if I'm being honest too because it's like I've had that account for like 10 years and uh you know it's a lot of precious memories photos videos that I've uploaded on there that I never even shared with the channel you know all my friends and family uh, even certain people who you know only ever stayed in touch with because that was actually my primary source of like communication I did that more than text and, you know, I even have some loved ones on there who are no longer with us. So it almost kind of felt like that sentimental, special thing that, like, you know, I had them added on there, you know, pictures and whatnot. And, you know, I only, truly, it's like I never really knew what I could have done. Because all I ever did was share maybe some content, like videos that I had made, like, that you guys have seen. Or every now and then occasion, like, I never even really posted on there unless it was to share something big or major or, you know, just checking in on my friends and, you know, even that, you know, I had group messages with people um, and my closest pals, uh, you know, just fun stuff throughout the years. And it, so, again, it's kind of like one of those things that there was never an explanation, never, a, hey, you can defend yourself, just kind of gone. Uh, so there's that. And I guess getting on to the other thing. Um, and I mentioned Instagram as well, because when I signed up for my Instagram, that was also strictly through, well, I signed up through Facebook. And so as you can imagine, because of Facebook, and there's no Facebook account linked, and because of that, I lost my Instagram as well. Uh, which, of course, Instagram being like strictly pictures, videos, and stuff. Uh, yeah, it was definitely, um, definitely a big one. Uh, so yeah, I've been kind of dealing with that. Um, as of now, I don't really know if it's something, well, like after that, the customer, like, or lack thereof customer service experience, it really is something that I, I don't know. It's like almost like grieving or mourning, you know, the loss of those accounts and certain people. And it's like, 
the idea that, well, I don't really want to just, because it's not really, but it's not even creating the account that's the issue. It's more or less, I don't know if it's the principle or the sentiment behind those accounts on the memories associated with them that, you know, it kind of feels like I've been cheated of that. Uh, so there's that. And then in terms of another account and why I've been very suspicious about the Google thing was that I started noticing weird posts popping up on my Twitter account and, you know, things that I hadn't posted or shared or whatever. And so then I'm very confused about that. And of course, you know, I instantly go and start deleting those because well, I'm like, well, this isn't me. I, what, what is all this? And then of course, changing my passwords and whatnot. And the, the weirdest thing is too, cause I had two step authentication enabled on Twitter, which it's supposed to send me a text like, Hey, here's an, here's a code. You have to enter this in order to access the account. I never received that. Um, for if someone's trying to get into your account or you're trying to log in, like even when I log in, I still have to use that code. Never received that. So again, the security and everything, it's really put like a bad taste. Um, and again, the other thing being that I had noticed, like, it was kind of weird, this uh, thing on my bank side of things too, where, you know, one day I was checking my account and then I noticed some weird transactions going on. And then I'm like, well, okay, at first I thought, well, I have a lot of subscriptions. Maybe it's just something I happened to forget about, whatever it came out. And then I'm like, no, that says it was within the last hour. And so then I'm, you know, tracking where it says this is from. And one of the things was it was some like women's lingerie thing. I don't know, like halfway across the United States. And I'm like, uh, okay, definitely not me. Um, some online order thing. And I'm like, okay, so I called, of course, my bank. And I'm like, hey, I didn't post this. I, I didn't purchase this. Like, and they ended up sending me a new card. But yeah, it's uh, it's just one of those things uh, that was very unfortunate that, I mean, you know, I know it happens to a lot of people. Um, but, you know, just kind of something that it was a very sore thing. And the fact that, like I said, three accounts, including I guess, a fourth one with my bank, and, you know, there's no customer service to really get a hold of these, like, social, like, which I found ironic, social media platforms to, like, talk to about. And, uh, yeah, no real way to say, hey, this isn't me. Hey, maybe check your source. Don't have, like, an AI do it or whatever. Or Because that's the thing is, like, part of me is, like, did anyone actually ever review that appeal I submitted? Or did it just, like, time out, like... I don't know. It's just one of those things that if like a real person were to go into that account and look, you'd be able to see, oh, well, clearly this isn't you if it's like put weird posts or messages. But I don't know. So it, yeah, it's definitely been a big shift. And I don't know, I guess it's just one of those things that I finally wanted to talk about. And it's one of those things that, again, at this point in time, really, uh, for those of you who are looking to get in touch or for those of you who aren't aware, um, who maybe seen my YouTube, but, you know, haven't been on social media, uh, that is essentially what happened. Uh, so really, my main forms of contact at this point for those like personal, you know, through text or uh, my email, which, of course, for those of you who are looking to get in touch, like through the channel, I always put in the description. So there's still that. Um and then, yeah, so again, just a bit of an update. I know it's a long video, but, you know, thank you again. Uh, and anyway, you know, I guess uh, to kind of wrap things up here, I do hope everyone is having, so far, you know, a decent 2023. Um, you know, I'm trying to working hard over here. Uh, but yeah, want to make this update. Uh, regardless, let's uh, still try to have a good, you know, new year, I guess. Uh, but yeah, thanks guys. Uh, see you later.